So what is a gothics? That's just my username. Uh, I picked it when I was a teenager and I just kept it until I, you know, now that I'm an adult, just kept it. So it has no meaning to it? Um, I was gothic in high school. Really? I just like, yeah. I mean, I kind of have a, you know, a little, a little something, something here, but I used to dress really dark in high school. So I guess that's where I came from. And so what ha- why were you doing that in high school? Uh, because I wanted to fit in and I had no friends, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> and were you able to fit in with the other gothics people? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, I actually, I got into like the, the heavy metal scene and, and I love rock music still. Uh, but I also, when I started dressing gothic, I became a Wiccan in high school for a little bit. And what is a Wiccan? A witch. Really? Yeah. Wow. And yeah. did you did you go to school on a broom or something? No, I, <laughs> I didn't get my broom license. I was too young. <laughs> and so what was going on in your life at the time that caused you to go down that road? Uh, I think it was just the, uh, I guess, the culture of, of going into high school. I used to be a straight A student before then, but something about fitting in and, and finding your voice in high school, the cool kids and stuff like that. I think that's what initially drew me to that subculture. Really? And yeah. so um, you didn't fit in. What, what does it feel like not to fit in? What's that feeling Back then, it felt terrible. If you ask me now, I think it's fine. <laughs> right. But back then, can you describe what the feeling was that made you think you didn't fit in? Um, I guess I just didn't like the same things other people didn't like. I didn't like the same music or the same, like, just hobbies, I guess. Um, and I just, I just, I don't know, I felt excluded if I can recall. Uh, and did, uh, so the people that you, once you dress like a, uh, your gotha stuff, the people were having the same issues that you were having, and that's why they were able to accept one another? I mean, I don't know why they were gothic necessarily, but just objectively looking at them, they right. also weren't popular. They they didn't really fit in anywhere else. So I, I, I almost compare it to like, this is the group of rejects, and <laughs> you, now you can have your own reject family. <laughs> and did you have a boyfriend during high school? Of course not. Oh, you did <laughs> well, not? Towards the end, towards the end of high school, I did, but the first maybe like two Two years, I didn't. I actually dropped out. That's the other part of yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. You dropped out of high school, and why? Um, I I think the pressure of fitting in. I also had some uh, home problems, and uh, I also, I, I guess in a way, I was like, I don't know what the point is of me uh, doing a lot of these classes because I didn't want to be a scientist, for example. I would have preferred just to start going into the workforce and making money. Uh, So it was a combination of a bunch of things. I like that. What did your parents say when you dropped out of high school? Um, Supposedly, my mom signed the papers for me. (laughs) I think uh, I, w- I was towards the end of high school. I was becoming very rebellious and I had my angsty teenage phase. Right. Um, so she ended up she told me she signed the papers for me. She didn't put up a fight or anything. Uh, and really? that was that. Were yeah. you surprised? I was very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and how old were you at the time? Um, maybe 17. Oh, OK. Yeah. And did your fa- what did your father say about you dropping out? Um, well, uh, my biological dad, uh, my, my parents got divorced when I was, uh, in high school. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, so, and she didn't remarry until years later. So I, I guess I didn't really have an opinion on that <laughs> side. <laughs> Amazing. And so were you not close to your father growing up then? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say so. What was that like for you not being close to him growing up? Um, Growing up, uh, I don't know. I think my brain just sort of got used to it. Um, yeah, because uh, he had his own problems that he was going through. Yeah. Uh, I think he has resolved it now, but 
uh, back then, I, I guess my brain just just shut it off. Like I have my mom, and I'm good with that. So, are you close to him now? No. And why not? Uh, I guess that's uh, that's on me. Right. I'll, I'll be honest. That that's on me. Um, and I am working towards trying to uh, make amends. I guess. Oh, good. So when you ask him why wasn't he around, what did he tell you? Oh, he's not going to tell me anything. <laughs> did you ask him? No. <laughs> why but, not? I mean, but I know. <laughs> Do you want to be close to him? I, I don't I don't necessarily want to. I, I forgive him for a lot of the stuff he did, but I, I'm comfortable now. Are you at peace within? Yeah, oh, I yeah. am. Yeah. So, so in, in your bio, you have the problematic grifter. Mm. What is that? Um, that's just what the internet has called me. So I've taken that name, and uh, because they say that my opinions are problematic, and they call me a grifter because I have opinions oh, that they don't yeah. like. I understand it. Yeah. And so you're not bothered by that. No, I was before, not anymore. And um, so before you started YouTube, you were a uh, uh, Twitch Twitcher, right? Yes. And your bio said you dropped out of high school. We talked about that. And so how are things going for you today in comparison to back then? Um, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's easier. I think it's uh, a lot of things have been happening, especially as of late with like the world and such. Right. That it's it's getting more difficult. But I think my resilience has gotten stronger. So the way that I navigate around these problems is easier for me. So uh, do you still feel like it's necessary to be a gother? No. So you're not a gother know. anymore? I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. Good. You feel better within yourself as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. 